For this one, I'll be using only parts cut out of cardstock with the Cricut Joy. So these are all my pieces cut out. Uh, the small circle and the ring will be the metal banding and centerpiece of the shield. And this, this larger disc, I will texture like wood and that will become the wooden element. For the wood texture, I'm literally just gonna draw in wood grain with a pencil, pressing very hard to get that texture in there. I'm just kind of drawing shaky vertical lines. I really wanna press very hard to get make sure that texture is Gonna hold up to the paint. So I have something like those. I showed you the dark wood one. I'm gonna do one like that and I'm gonna do one with as if it had been painted blue at some point. I'll begin both with the Craft Smart Espresso. Any dark brown will do for this. Just use a dark brown. Next I'll dry brush a little bit of the Craft Smart Golden Brown. You just want to go with a lighter brown. Look where your drawn in wood grains are and you want to dry brush against those grains. Very dry brush to start off with. Don't overdo it. And try to keep that out of those little wood grains you've drawn in. You can probably see once I did that dry brush that those really popped out. All right, and we'll do one more very, very dry brush again against those grains with some of the Craft Smart Suede. I'd said blue, but I think I'm going to go actually because I already have some of this burnt orange here. I think I'm going to do one of them in a as if it'd been painted burnt orange at one time, but now it's kind of kind of faded a bit. So I'm just going to dry brush that in. Right, those will be the wooden pieces for the shields. Now I'll go and paint my metal bits, which is going to be these rings and these little circles here. Once again, gonna use the Craft Smart tin for that. Okay, everything is dry. I'm actually gonna use a glue stick to assemble all of these. I just think it'll be the easiest and the least messy, especially these little tiny rings where there's very little to glue. I don't wanna use hot glue. I think it'll just go everywhere and I think PVA might be a problem too. So just gonna use the glue stick. I'm gonna go around the edge here and just use my pencil to create some little dents to give the illusion of rivets. As you can see what I've done there with the pencil. And turn once again to the Agrax Earth Shade. And I don't wanna soak these. I just want a little bit of, of this wash down in the details. So I'll give it a quick brush and then I'll dab it off with the paper towel. And there they are. I think those look actually really freaking cool. They would look great hanging on the wall in a mead hall or a tavern or on the on a ship or whatever. You know, these make a great little these make great little shields. Just some cardstock cut out on the cricket. I suppose you could cut these circles out lots of ways, but I found that to be very simple.